Welcome to Electron Online. Now, so far we've looked at a lot of two-state systems, but what if we have a multi-state system? What changes? So here we have an example, a general example of how to deal with multi-state systems. So let n equal the number of states. So how do we deal with that? Well, what we want to try to figure out is in how many ways can n distinguishable objects, so n is still the total number of objects, but we're going to have multiple states. We're going to call them n1, n2, n3, n4, n5, all the way to n sub n, n of course being the number of states. And in how many ways can those objects then be arranged if they are being arranged in n groups with n1, n2, n3, all the way up to n sub n, equal to the number of objects in each group. So how many different ways can we, well, with other words, how many macrostates do we have, or I should say, how many microstates do we have in that case? So again, we're looking for the number of microstates, and the equation that we use, it's equal to the total number of objects factorial divided by n1 factorial times n2 factorial times n3 factorial times n4 factorial, all the way up to n sub n factorial, depending upon how many groups that we have. And so in general, when we multiply n factorials like this, this can be written like this. We're going to sum them all up from j equals 1 to n, and this is actually not a sum, it's actual multiplication. So it's n sub 1 times n sub 2 times n sub 3, and each of them, of course, having the factorial. So it would be n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial all the way up to n sub n factorial. So that's the symbol that represents the denominator here. So let's do an example. Let's do a derivation. Let's say let n equal three different states. Of course, we can do that for any number of states. So how do we get that equation like that? So what we have to do here is calculate the number of microstates we have in each of these cases. In the first case, we're going to find out the number of ways to select n sub 1 objects that would be in state 1, all the objects in state 1, out of the total number of objects in all the states. Then we're going to find the number of ways to select all the objects in state 2 out of the remaining objects. Of course, we can no longer include the ones that we already chose for state 1. And then finally, we have to find the number of ways to select all the objects in state 3 out of the remaining objects that are there. And so what that, does that look like? Well, the number of microstates is going to be equal to, that would be n, n sub 1, and this would be equal to n factorial divided by n sub 1 factorial times n minus n sub 1 factorial. And this is the exact equation that we would have if there was just a two-state system. But we don't have just two states, we have three states, so we have to continue this process. So the number of microstates to get the number of objects in state, um, that would be in, this would be the number of objects remaining divided by, this would be n sub 2, the number of objects which we have in state 2, and this would be equal to n minus n sub 1 factorial, divided by n sub 2 factorial times n minus n sub 1 minus n sub 2 factorial. So that would be the way in which we can calculate the number of microstates in the n sub 2 group, the number of objects in the state 2. And finally, the number of ways to select n sub 3, that would be done like this. This is equal to n minus n sub 1 minus n sub 2 divided by, oops, I don't have to divide a line there. We're not there yet. And here we put n sub 3. And what does that look like in factorial format? This would be n minus n sub 1 minus n sub 2 quantity factorial divided by n sub 3 factorial times, and this would then be n sub 1 minus n sub 2 minus n sub, oh, oh, I'm missing this here. So this would be equal to, well, that would be all the remaining. Of course, think about it this way. If we already had all the n sub 1 objects out and all the n sub 2 objects out and all the n sub 3 objects out, what that means is that all we have left here is, well, we can write it like this, n minus n sub 1 minus n sub 2 minus n sub 3 quantity factorial. And of course, this is going to be 0 factorial, which by definition is 1. And n minus n sub 1 minus n sub 2, well, that is equal to n sub 3 factorial. So this becomes n sub 3 factorial divided by n sub 3 factorial times 0 factorial, which is equal to 1. So there's only one way in which you can take all the remaining objects and put them in the third state because that's all we have left. 
But what about these other two? Well, here we can see that this is simply equal to that. And here, notice that n minus n sub 1 divided by, and this here would be n sub 3. So this can be written as n minus n sub 1 factorial divided by n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial. And this here can be written as n factorial divided by n sub 1 factorial. And this n minus n sub 2, uh, we can just simply like, leave it like this as n minus n sub 1 factorial. Now, the total number of microstates will simply be the product of what we have left. So let's go ahead and multiply these together. So we're going to multiply this, this quantity, and this quantity together. So this would be the total number of microstates. That's going to be equal to n factorial divided by n sub n sub 1 factorial times n minus n sub 1 factorial. Multiply times this, that would be n minus n sub 1 factorial divided by, we have n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial times 1. And then notice that this can cancel out with this, and then all we have left is the total number of macrostates, is equal to n factorial divided by n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial. And you can see that this then takes on the general format that we found over here, where simply to find the total number of microstates, we take the total number of objects and divide it by the number of objects in the first state factorial times the number of objects in the second state factorial, times the number of objects in the third state factorial, and that shows us all the microstates that we can have in that three-state system as an example. And that's how we do this if we have a multi-state system, more than two states. That's how it's done.